Hey guys, good morning. Hope you all are doing awesome. It is Monday, August 15th, if you can believe it. And we are kicking off day eight of our 21 day fitness challenge. We are beginning week two, guys. So, first off, a couple housekeeping things before we get into the meat of our mojo today. Um, if you did not receive a private message from me yesterday, um, hang tight. I am getting through the rest of those today. I had surprisingly some extra um, tasks to tackle for my final week of this cleanse, so I'm a little bit behind on that, but don't worry. Um, I like to check in with each of you each week, one-on-one, -on -one, so that if there's anything that you need from me from a coach standpoint, um, that you're not getting from the group, that you have concerns about your plan or whatever, that we can talk about that early so that we don't get to the end and then go, oh, I wish we'd changed that, right? So just know that this one-on-one -on -one check-in is not to like inspect anything you're doing, but just to offer you a different avenue of support to make sure we get to the finish line together, okay? Um, so watch for that. That'll be probably later on this afternoon. Um, Second thing, guys, you know, you're doing awesome in week one. I love all the check-ins. I am a visual person, so I love to see what you're doing. So the more you show me what you're doing, the more I can get a feel for how things are going for you, etc. So just use this group as your playground, your dumping ground, whatever, for your accountability posts um, for what you're doing on your own journey, right? I kind of leave it free reign to you guys because I don't want to you know, make it so prescribed. But um, but anyway, use this group as your place to show us that you are being the proof that these programs work, that you're following the plan, that you are working towards your goals and getting your results, okay? All right, that's all for the housekeeping, um, I think. Yeah, anyway, okay, let's go for it. Week two, day eight, here we go, right? So as I mentioned in the video yesterday, guys, week two tends to be the one where people um, feel that sort of whoop on the roller coaster that we talked about at the beginning, okay? So prepare for that. Prepare for your challenge this week being more on the mental front than more so on the physical front. So usually when we start these challenges, um, people are super sore, right? You know, you might be starting a brand new workout and you're like, oh my God, I can't sit down on the toilet. What the hell? Um, and sometimes the eating plan gives you challenges, right? You're trying to implement a new system and plan ahead and all that stuff that you may not be used to. So I always find in the first week, right, you've got this energy from starting something new and it fuels you through tackling those new uncomfortable habits. Week two rolls around and all of a sudden it's not new and shiny and fun anymore. Um, like your, you know, your sparkler is getting a little dull. And it's really when you guys have to dig deep, dig deep, right? You hear Shanti say it all the time. Um, and reconnect with why you're doing this. That's why we go over that at the very beginning of the group. <clears throat> so that when you hit that low spot in the middle of the challenge, in the middle of your, you know, motivation lull, let's say, you reconnect with why you're doing this. You know, remember what you said your goal was. Go back, scroll back through the group and find it, whatever you typed out exactly. Remember what your goal was. Remember who you're doing this for, right? You know, who does it matter to that you remain healthy and physically active and able to show up and deliver your best every day? Who does that matter to the most? Maybe it's you, but maybe it's your kids. Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's for your job, right? Maybe you're the breadwinner of your family and you have to be healthy to maintain your work and support your family. All those things, guys, you really have to mentally connect to why you're here, why you're going to keep showing up for these next seven days until we kind of crest that week two ending and can see the finish line, right? The finish line for this challenge. Um, you know, your journey may be a whole lot longer than 21 days, which is awesome and great. That's why we do these groups every month. But there's something about notching those 21 days back to back to back where you get over the hump of the middle and then you can see the finish line and it just brings that energy to, to finish strong. So this week, right, your mental mojo week, <laughs> I want you guys to think back to what did you say your goal was for this challenge? How are you doing on that? If you're not feeling like you're on course to achieve it, post in the group, guys. We have 200 something people in here who've been in here a while, who have been working on their goals, who have ideas and tips that they can help you with. In addition to me, right? I mean, I'm not the only perspective in here. Um, 
share with us what's giving you challenges so that we can help you move through them, okay? And then connect back to who and why you're doing this, right? Why does it matter that you follow through on this commitment? Um, maybe it matters to you, but who else does it matter to? What happens if you give up? Other than feeling like crap, right? <laughs> There's always somebody that it matters to and a bigger reason why it matters that you follow through on what you committed to. Okay, so reconnect with that. The last thing I want to mention to you guys is about um, something totally different. Okay, so get your mind right and then think about this. This actually plays into mindset too. Um, I heard a couple comments in the group last week about how, you know, the exercise portion of this challenge is kind of going like this. You know, I'm trying it, but I'm not, but I am, but I'm not. I'm going to do this instead, etc. So I just encourage you guys to remember that these programs, the one that you bought, is designed to be used as a total package. The professionals that created it um, have all the smarts and know-how to know how these things work together, where the right level of exercise and the right, you know, body parts being used works in conjunction with the meal plan and with the Shakeology and with all of it together as an ecosystem to get you the results that they promise. So if you show up to the table and start modifying things in your plan, right, skipping this, replacing that, etc., you know, you're taking charge of that future. And I don't know about you, but I'm not a certified nutritionist. I'm not a certified personal trainer. I don't have all that know-how to put together a custom plan that's going to for sure guarantee results. But these guys do. That's why they have made these programs. That's why they've sold like four bazillion copies of this stuff. And that's why there's thousands of testimonials online about people who've literally changed their life and gotten amazing results following the plan. Okay. So I just <clears throat> preach at you a little bit this Monday morning to make sure that you're gut checking yourself and not letting your ego get in the way thinking, Hey, I know a better way, right? Honestly, if you we're using a better way, you wouldn't even be here, okay? I mean, that's just the hard facts of it. You came to this group because you wanted help changing something that wasn't working. So I just encourage you to use the tool that you now have in your hands to make that change, to break a habit that you had before and implement a new one. All it takes is following the plan, okay? <clears throat> that's my preach. Simmer down now. Very last thing I'm going to mention is about modifications. Um, I heard, again, I heard some comments about workouts and things not working for you. I want to encourage you guys that it's 100, 200, 300% okay to modify every single move in these workouts. If there's anything that's not jiving with your body, if you have injuries, if your fitness level is just not up to it yet, do the workout anyway and modify everything. There is zero shame in modifying. I've been doing these programs for almost three years and I still modify things where I'm not strong enough to do the form correctly. But that doesn't mean that I just skip them, right? I still do them. That is the only way that you're going to get better at whatever it is that's giving you challenge. Okay? So Monday, lots of stuff. Get your mindset right. Remember why you're doing this. Go back and revisit your goals why this matters to you, why this matters to other people, to your family, that you do not give up on your challenge. Get your mind right for that mid-challenge slump that always seems to happen, okay? And then go back and gut check yourself on the fitness side of this challenge. Are you trying to, trying to direct your own destiny with this program or are you following the plan to get the results that were promised when you bought it and you signed up, right? Are you following the plan to change the habits that got you here in the first place, okay? Or are you giving yourself reasons why it's okay to change the plan, <laughs> okay? Don't do it. Follow the plan. And then last of all, remember that if you are struggling with anything in the workouts, it's okay to modify. It's better to modify and do it anyway than to skip it. Okay, that's my three preach soapbox for Monday morning going into week two. Guys, I love you, but I am here to be your coach. I'm not here to be your kumbaya love bug or whatever. You know, I'd want to tell it to you straight so that at the end of this challenge, you get the results that you want and are proud of yourself for following through and giving it hell. Okay? You guys have a great Monday. I will be checking in with you guys a little bit later.